for the music. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're recording. Hey, everybody, welcome back. <laughs> What's up? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Coco Brown Curls XO. We have out of the box fashion. We hey, have it's cute. Hey. <laughs> we are back for the next Insecure, I'm So Insecure podcast. We are now on what, guys? Episode three of season three? Yeah, episode three. Episode three. Four, three. Okay, three. I'll episode say four. three of season four. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm just anxious to get straight into it. Anything you I want am. to I am pumped <laughs> up. We pumped up about this episode. Right. I want to get straight into it. So first and foremost, I always ask off rip, what were you guys' thoughts about last night's episode? You first, I'm let, you. I'm, I'm, no, I'm going to let the way. I'm going to okay. let him okay. go first. All right, ladies. First. All right, ladies. So first of all, um, I like to come with the positive first. I like to be positive, come with some positivity. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually love this episode. I got some Yay! good things to say about this episode. <laughs> I thought it was really good. I, let me tell you, ladies, this episode, it kind of touched on a lot of emotions. And I think that's what makes any song good, any book good, any magazine good, if you touch on all emotions. So it, um, uh, the whole situation with, with Molly and Issa, we saw that it started to manifest itself where they realized that they had some issues that mm -hmm. was going on in their relationship. They both felt like they were throwing shade at each other. So that's one emotion. Um, another thing that we experienced in this episode that I thought was really good was Issa's relationship with her brother and how they kind of touched on his relationships where he was having with whoever he has a relationship with and also um, it was revealed that how Issa really felt about Lawrence, that mm -hmm. um, she felt like she kind of built him up to the man that he is today. And we didn't know that. We didn't know that Issa felt like, here I am, I got this man to the level he had, and now someone else is reaping the benefits off of what I've done with this man. And then we also we also shed a little tear a little bit because Molly finally, finally forgave her husband. I mean, her husband, I'm sorry, her, her father. father. Mm -hmm. She finally forgave her father. And um, so it was a lot of emotions. But for, for me personally, I was um, I was excited about this episode. I enjoyed the writing. Um, we we got a chance to um, kind of experience a little bit of life pre coronavirus. I mean, uh, uh, Friendsgiving. I thought it was really dope that everybody was getting together without wearing masks and gloves. Um, right. It just kind of it just kind of made me miss that whole you know. Just the whole being able to do things like we are we in quarantine, so um, the whole social gathering, yeah, yeah, right. the whole social That's gathering. Over. So, mm -hmm. so this for me, this particular episode, it was written by um, Phil Austin Jackson. That's his name, Phil Jackson. He wrote this particular episode, and I thought he did a wonderful job because he touched on every emotion. And last thing I wanted to say before you ladies jump in was I loved how they ended with Maya song. The case for the ex. I was like, yo, I love that. That was dope. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That I don't know. Is yes. That is it, it was, in my, and I thought I was yes. person that thought that was a huge, like I started. No. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if it was I don't know if it was Raphael Sadiq or if it was Phil who actually wrote it in, but it was uh -huh. perfect timing when yeah. Issa, when, 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 when Lawrence hit like on Issa videos. Right. I thought, I, I, the whole episode was called Low Key Thankful. The whole episode was hella dope. I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, singing, all thumbs up. I was yeah. singing from the top of my lungs when the song. <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm singing, and I literally wrote out the lyrics in my notes. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so right now, if you right now if you Google Maya cases of the X, it's all coming up insecure. Like so, right. so wow. insecure. Like they like they. She brought a lot of sales from that song based on that. Mm -hmm. And I'm a fan of Maya. I'm a fan. I'm a and it was perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Like the yes, whole thing. Yes. It was. It was perfect. Yes. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was superb. It was. It was. It was. And I agree with you, Delwayne. To this episode was like by far, so far the best. I enjoyed it yeah. from the beginning to the end. Like you said, yes. it touched on. Uh, I enjoyed watching uh, Issa and her brother because I did not realize their bond. Yeah. So I got to see that, and that was a different side from what we always see. Them kind of like 
going they at each other. Yeah, they always so, like tip their tat. Yes. Yes. So that was I, I love that was inspiring for me because you know I feel like that's how a brother and sister relationship should be. And he was very encouraging to her. And I love the fact that she mentioned how she truly felt about uh, Lawrence, which I yeah. already saw that. I felt that way. You know what I'm saying? And it is true. And uh, it's, I think her feelings are, they're real. You can relate to that. I think a lot of women feel that way. You know, they have a man and when he's with them, it's like, he's a loser. But then when you get into another relationship, now he's now like, you want to be worth some shit. Right. Okay. <laughs> now you got a job. You know what I'm saying? And paying bills. But so I get that. I thought that was a great thing. Uh, Molly, when it came to her father, I was glad that she forgave him, even though I thought it was petty because that's her parents' yeah, business. That's right. And her mom forgave her dad and let it go. But we know that Molly likes to, I think she just loved to have problems. Harbor, har harbor feelings. And keep yes, and just there. want to. What has everybody been saying? What is, what's yeah, the, she wants, she loves drama. Says, you, gotta, you have a problem with everything. Yes, oh, everything. So. so but I was glad to see that. And like uh, Dwayne said, it was nice to see the friend givings and the Thanksgiving. But mm -hmm. again, I will say, Cadola and uh, Lawrence, it's a no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a forced relationship because Lawrence Hart is with Issa. Issa Hart is with Lawrence. And you truly saw that this episode, period, hands down, period. Now, do I think Lawrence really wants to get married and all that kind of thing? No, I think that he's just leveling up. He's growing. He's at a certain point in his life where, you know what I'm saying? He's considering that. And then Cadola is different to me. I feel she's a lot different from Issa. That's just my opinion. You know, so she's something different, but he still love Issa. So mm -hmm. I was happy to see that because now I'm hopeful for that ending that I feel is gonna happen on the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, you know, you know it's like double dutch. I'm so ready to oh jump in here, but, I, but I, no, no, no. I'm gonna let Tab go because I don't want to step out of my turn, but I got something for you. I'm coming back from you, Q. All right, Tab. Okay, so let me kind of go in that same similar order, but you know where I have to start. I have to start at the right time. This goes back to what I said on our last episode after episode two is there is a strong connection between Issa and Lawrence. It's a, a true bond. It's a, a homie lover friend. It's the, the way they could joke immediately. It doesn't matter how much time or distance comes between them. They're still in that joking mood. It's just, it's natural for them. So to see them do that, like it just, it gave me butterflies. I loved it. And then to see Condola walk up and be as, uncomfortable as she was oh my gosh it happens when you have somebody else's man that's right exactly hello when you have somebody else's man. <laughs> you don't fit in here sis this moment I'm, is for you i'm shaking my head right so i so, agree to see yeah. that, it just it again it solidified what i said on the last episode that they are supposed to be together and then you see Lawrence attempt that with Condola. So you fast forward to the beginning of the Friendsgiving when he walks into her house and then he kind of jokes and says, all right, well, I'll let myself out. She didn't get it. Shit went right over her head. Issa would have got that. All right. Mm -hmm. Totally got that. So mm -hmm. that just goes back to, that's not her man. Um, <laughs> it's not her man. It's, it's not. Just not. Um, mm -hmm. So then we fast forward to Issa and Molly in the grocery store, just like I said cool. on episode I needed them to use their words um I think it was great advice that Issa's brother gave her that you don't have to address shit that you don't want to address right now mm -hmm. I wasn't mad at Issa for saying hey can we talk about this later like I got other shit going on I got my mind in other places like I'm not in the space that I need to be in to address this mm -hmm. um, I think Molly was being a little petty in her responses like do yeah. you know, do, don't do that use your words mm -hmm. if, type of way because if this is a, a ritual that you guys have where she comes over and eat the pies then just say that but don't mm -hmm. get petty with her right so i feel like i need her to use her words but i'm glad because remember i said i need them to focus on these black women talking this out because right. we don't do that enough we have hurt feelings we get upset we get mad and we just separate no talk that shit out so eventually they'll talk it out and i'll be glad to see that um and then finally molly and her dad i'll be honest y'all i could i didn't remember 
I did not. <laughs> I did, I'm like, why is she not talking to him? And right. then they reminded us is because um, her dad's infidelities. But I think a lot of times as adults, we forget that our parents are adults. And right. we, we make mistakes. We do all kind of crazy shit. Molly does something crazy every episode. So okay. for her to then judge her parents, like she's not out there wilding and, and sleeping with married people. That was right. You know, it was good to see her forgive them. It I will forgive right. him. good to see her forgive him. Cause yeah, mm-hmm. we have to remember that our parents are adults and they have an entire life separate from just being our parents. Right. Right. Exactly. And like y'all said, her mama forgave him. So that's right. So right. Against him. And he was a good dad to her. So that at the end of the day, that's really all that matter. Like on the real. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Of course, my final note was the Maya song. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It, it was perfect time. But I'm glad that I got to address. I got to address Q first real quick before I come oh, back Lord. to you, Tabitha. <laughs> I got to address Q real quick. Oh, <laughs> what's, what's up? What's up? So, so, so first of all, Q. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not going to set me up on this one because, <laughs> listen, Lawrence, okay. L- Lawrence is hurt because he's ready to be married. Let's, let's be clear. He bought a ring for Issa. Mm-hmm. It hurt him to find out Condola doesn't want to be married again. So when he was in the kitchen with her friend and her friend was drunk telling the truth, you're just a rebound dude. That crushed him. Like, he's crushed about that. He's ready to take his uh, life to the next level. He wants to be in a committed relationship. And let's be clear, Issa cheated on him. He didn't cheat on her. So when the question came up, and I thought it was a dumb question, mm-hmm. Condola, asked, Condola asked him if Issa would not have cheated, would y'all be together? Duh. Of course we would be together, but she cheated. What type of question was that? Like, it's, they a, kind it's, of, a good, it's a good question. It was a good I, question. From a woman's I, point of view, it's a good question. I mean, but but... I mean, she cheated. I mean, so, I mean, to me, the question is irrelevant at that point. He gave her an opportunity to see if where Lawrence's heart was. Right. There's a couple of ways he could have answered that. He could have said, oh, you know, our relationship wasn't going anywhere. We would eventually broke up. Or, I mean, we was all right. He could have said something, but it was, no, the only reason we're broken up is because she cheated. That lets Condola know that, shit, we would have still been together. There was nothing else going on that would have ended that relationship so i think yeah. that him not being able to answer that mm-hmm. answer actually answered it for her yeah it right, did. Right. and well, then well. Uh, and, and also about the ring thing yes he was going to marry isa but you're dealing with a woman that you know just got a divorce not too long ago and you just to me it's immature for him to even think that she would want to get married again right away you know, so he's not saying, he's like, not saying right away, but he's saying, but, what are we doing? He's saying, what are right. we doing here? Basically, okay. almost like the same thing Molly is telling, oh boy, like, mm-hmm. are we just sleeping together? What is this? She wasn't, Condola wasn't going to even invite Loris to the, to the, to the, right, exactly. He, so he, exactly. he invited himself. So that I lets you know that he's, he, he is more, he's more into her than she is to him. And, and I didn't realize that until this episode. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think that, but he's more into her too, because it's like a rebound thing. It's, he's missing Issa. You know, it's just like they say to get over to get over one person, you need to get under another one, right? That's all this is about. I promise you, that's all this is about. Well, I'm so so tell, so tell. Guy. <laughs> and and I think Condola, I think she knows it. She knows because, and I think for real, she's having fun. I really do think her friend was right. She's out here. She was married. She's been there. She's done that. Now, you know, she's dating. She's having fun. She's having fun with Lawrence. And now that you got the Issa thing there, who's supposed to be her friend, at the end of the day, I think Tab said this the last time, I think she would pick Issa over Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If it she came down to Issa it. Over Lawrence. She and would I be also like, think that she should let Issa have him. When you realize, you ask this man a question, and you've, you've come to realize that the only reason they're not together is because of something Issa did. Not because your man didn't love her or didn't want to be with her, but right. something Issa did. And you know you're not where he is. You know you don't want to be where he's mm-hmm. going to go. You should let him go, sis. You should let him go. Yeah. Let yeah. him go be with the person that you know he in love with. You're right. Not necessarily keeping him in a relationship, but you're prolonging the inevitable. You didn't want to invite him. 
you kind of made fun of him and I felt bad for him. You kind of made fun of him <laughs> himself. You know you're not trying to get married no if ever again, no time soon. And you know he's still in love. Just let him go. Just just let him go. Let him I, go. See that's see see that's see that's what we did for because I don't I don't know if they're still in love. They probably love what? Each other. Oh yeah. Lord. Oh, they probably they probably what? they they probably they probably love each other, but they're not in love. Yeah, they're in love. They, they are y'all think love. they still in love. Where's all that? Where's all that in love at when she was bumping and grinding with Daniel? Listen, where, don't mean just because she did it, don't mean she didn't love Lawrence. That was just lust. Lust. She was just, love is too she, was, she was. She was just with Big Boy. And, come on now, you're what? not. But she just that was just a one-time thing. She didn't even go back to trying to get with him. She didn't go back to after the fact when Lawrence left her for that which she shouldn't have never told him but that's a whole nother story but we're not gonna penalize her for tsa bay we, we can't penalize her for tsa bay right has moved on. i'm not just gonna sit here we gotta be honest yeah. Sometimes women you know we yeah. really separate emotions or a reaction yeah. that women and men have it's just a human yeah. it's kind of a thing yeah. right right so what else so let me... has to happen to get you to realize that they are still He's right just, he gonna need Lawrence to say, "I still love her." Yes. So, 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 Issa during the last season, Issa was doing whatever she could to get him back. She was mm-hmm. popping up at his. She was popping up at his job. She was bringing him flowers. She did everything, and then she realized that look, he don't want me no more. So, mm-hmm. I, I think, I think with Lawrence, he's not ready to be. He's not ready to forgive her yet. Now, maybe the hit and likes on her videos, he's kind of easing that way, mm-hmm. but I just don't think he's there yet. But see, you said so. the word forgive her. See, that's that part I can agree on. He has to forgive her. Mm-hmm. He still loves her. He's in love with her. But if he's hurt by that, mm-hmm. but he got he's gonna need to let that go. Or he can get. I mean, I don't know what he want. If he want to break even with her or whatever, I don't know. But he will have to make peace and forgive her in order because he's only gonna be happy with her. And start with trust. He has to feel like he can trust Issa. Well, and regardless. I- and let me tell you something, regardless if a man is on his on, on, on his high horse or down on his luck, it doesn't give you uh, the right to cheat on him. You know, we all, we all are not, nothing is going up at all the time. So I'm not going to say he was a loser, so that gave her a right to do what she did. Oh, no. So uh-uh. he, 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 has, he, he has to gain trust in her again. And like mm-hmm. you said. Well, that's, that's true, but I'm going to tell you, he's probably going to have a hard time at a certain point in a relationship with Cadola with trusting her at a certain point. You why know did, what I'm why saying? Why do you say that? Why because because he's experienced a woman cheating on him, someone that he trusted and he was comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? And he was about to marry, so asked to marry them. So I feel he will that that issue could come up again yeah. if Cadola does something that you know what I'm saying that kind of mm-hmm. seems suspect to him, or you know what I'm saying. So yeah. that'll be something that he's gonna have with any other woman until he so- kind of can make peace with. Issa and forgive her for that. So Cadola has... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tab. You first. You first. I was going to say, also keep in mind, Dwayne made a good point that Issa, you know, spent all last season trying to get him to forgive her and then, you know, towards the end, Mm -hmm. she's... Mm -hmm. Sometimes when we go hard in a situation like that and don't allow that person just that time and space, Mm -hmm. being that constant was also a constant reminder of his hurt. Right. He's backed off. Distance makes the heart grow fonder, and now when he runs into her, it's light, it's airy, and it's reminiscent yeah. of her times. She's not jocking him. She's not, you know, please forgive me, trust me. She's not doing any of that. Mm-hmm. Her almost with fresh eyes, if that makes sense to you guys. So that yeah. fraction is back. That that yeah. foundation, like, oh, we had a bomb ass relationship. We laugh. We right. Joke. Now I'm remembering that. I'm seeing you on Instagram cutting up with your brother, like right. a lit situation. He's being reminded of that, and it's pulling at his heartstrings. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Both, both of y'all are right. Both mm-hmm. of y'all are right. I, I can see that. We'll, we'll see though. But yeah, I, I just, I think, I think Cadola would realize what she has with Lawrence, and even though she's not willing to get married right now, she may still pacify him to the sense where she may say, okay, maybe not now, but I still want what we have. I mean, because he really impressed her friends. I mean, they, they all loved him. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was really impressed that he dressed up. 
he brought wine and he fixed our seat. Well, he tried to fix our seat. Right, he <laughs> but, tried. <laughs> but, you know, I, I mean, when I saw him do that, I, I can't say that I ever did that. Like, saw your house, you know, your plumbing need to be fixed and I fixed it. But so I thought that was pretty cool for him to do that. But um, um, I think she sees something in him that I, I don't think she's willing to let go. I think she's going to fight for it. Condola. I agree with that. I don't, I don't agree with her doing it, but I agree with what you're saying. Like she sees the good man in him. She sees the potential, even though she's not ready for what he's ready for. She's still going to hold on to that, which you're right. Exactly. Exactly. I think, I think if it came down to it and she had to make a decision, I think she would choose Issa over him. But I think as long as there's no conflict and it's not causing issues for her, I think she'll keep him around and keep her in her pocket. And I don't agree with that because I don't think he deserves it. Yeah. Okay. But oh, go ahead, Q. You can ready to say something? Q, are you there? She's there. I think we lost her on the volume a little. Yeah. Bit. Can you hear she me broke. now? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I I was gonna say I didn't know Tasha Mack was uh Issa's mama. I oh, I know. I saw that. I saw that. I don't remember seeing Tasha Mack as her as their mama. See, I don't remember seeing her either. So this is the first time I saw her. Yeah. And I'm like, she too, she don't look like nobody mama. But okay. like, they brought, they brought Tasha Mack on here. That's how mama look these days. Yeah. I was kind of surprised to see Tasha Mack on there. Did y'all yeah. also see Masika from Love and Hip Hop? Yes, I, I thought I, that's who that was. Mm -hmm, trying to have a I didn't see Masika. Masika I saw was the one of Issa's, um, I mean, not Issa, Molly's brother, Molly's baby mama. girlfriend. Okay, oh, that's who that was. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so she was the pregnant one, she was the one that had, I think, like a little boy or something. Yeah, exactly. They, they, they both, they both was ratchet. Absolutely, I know. I was like, What the hell? I said, Look, one of Fetty, Fetty Watt baby mama's trying to have a serious acting career, <laughs> one of the baby mamas. Right. I don't know who got more baby mamas, Fetty Wap or Freecher. Right. But that's what it, might be, it might be hand in hand. It might be hand in hand. Exactly. Yeah. I thought that's who that was. I kept yeah. trying to think of I was like, who is that? When I heard a voice too, I was like, who is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. She oh, that's cool. Just it when she talked. I do not understand it got a weird voice to me yeah she does that's why it was so familiar too because i was like i know that voice who is mm -hmm. that so that's who that was okay mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, it was good to see tasha mack and it was also good like we said about Issa and her brother to see their like joking relationship when it came to their mm -hmm. stepdad mom's boyfriend whatever he was yeah yeah that was, yeah that was pretty cool i, I enjoyed it, I, I mean i mean the episode to me it showed la Y'all know I, I was in L.A. January 10th. I had my uh, very first event there uh -huh. this, a couple of months ago. And it really showed L.A. And, um, you know, not being far from L.A. right now, they are really getting hit hard with the coronavirus. Yeah, uh, I know. L.A. County right now just announced that the coronavirus is the leading cause of death in L.A. County. Um, you have to have a mask and gloves to come outside. You can't even shop if you don't let you have a mask and gloves. So L.A. is being hit really hard. So watching Insecure was really refreshing to see Crenshaw, to see, you know, families mm -hmm. getting together for the holiday. Like, we're going to miss that. We're like, yeah. we're not going to have that this year. So um, yeah, I, know. I thought that was really good. Yeah. So yeah. it was just good to see that. That breaks my heart to hear that because, you know, being on yeah. the, I don't, we don't, you know, sometimes our news is kind of centralized. We don't hear a lot. Yeah. Of, you know, right. Search to, to find out about other areas. Right. You guys know I call California my second home. It's uh, no, that your really, happy place. Yeah, exactly. Santa Monica is my happy place. So to hear that is just so upsetting yeah. and heartening. Like my plan this summer, I was actually supposed to buy um, two round trip tickets. I was going to surprise my husband and take him. He's never been to California. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, man. My happy place. But also, uh. I wanted to go to Issa's coffee shop. Right. Oh yeah. Where is her yeah. coffee shop? It's in LA. I don't have the exact address. No, I wish I would have known because I went. Um. Well, yeah, a couple of years ago I went. I love she California. She just opened it within the last couple of months. Okay. And oh, okay. Okay. Do not well, quote next me, time I, I go. Right. Do not quote me, but I think it was on episode two when they were okay. upstairs and um, Molly was upset that Condola was there. Okay. 
believe that is the coffee shop, but I wanted to do some research before, I, you know. Okay. I, well, all right. Do you know the name of it? You know the name of it, Pat? I forget. I forget. I had all of it written down, like trying to plan it out to go. Um, I'll find it for you guys. Though. Okay, because okay. I didn't even know she had a coffee shop. That's dope. Mm -hmm. As soon as I, yeah, that, I told DJ, so, I was like, so I need a round trip ticket to California. And he was like, why? I was like, Issa opened a coffee shop and I have to go. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I can see you. I this would be a good time to get out. a ticket. <laughs> this would be a good time to get a ticket too for later. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. My yeah. issue is I don't know when, when, when. Right, I'll... we don't know when. Yeah, mm -mm, I have um, no clue. So this is we're uh, living through some sad times, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. Atlanta is gonna be affected the same way as California, simply because they opened up too soon. Yeah, they absolutely. did open. So it's it's gonna be bad here after a while. Absolutely. So I agree yeah. with Joanne. Like I enjoyed seeing those. I love. Just the mural, seeing the city, all of that. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. L.A., uh, San Diego. I've been to San Diego. Uh, L.A., I went to, uh, of course, Coachella because I, you know. Oh, yeah, that's there. right. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I just, I loved it. And I was telling my friend, if I could open a boutique here, y'all would be very successful because they literally have boutiques next to boutiques next to boutiques. Yes, you know what I'm saying? yes, like, yes. And people literally walk and shop there. Versus here in Georgia, people are so lazy. I'm sorry, but you are. They want to just drive everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Q, Q. Speak, speaking of fashion, as soon mm -hmm. as I saw Issa head on this yellow outfit, head like yes, a big holder, and what, what was going on? What was going on? I, I thought about you. What was that? I was trying to look up and see who designed that and that with the cutout right there. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to see who designed it. I'm going to have to look it up and have it for you guys on the next show. So I slipped up. I was supposed to look that up so I could talk about that. Right. Yeah, as soon, that as, so soon as I dope. saw it, as soon as I saw it, I thought about you. I said, yeah. I got to ask oh, you about this. That jacket, I was like, oh my God. Did you see the touch of orange it had? No, In the thread, like the hem that. had a touch of yeah. orange with the yellow. Just bad but she has leveled up when it comes to her whole she's just such a beautiful woman and do you notice she doesn't wear a lot of makeup right mm -hmm. yeah. like, you know yeah. like she looks real like she she's just beautiful i just love it yeah. because it really just to me the show represents black women real mm -hmm. black women mm -hmm. i'm gonna say that real black women it does. and it's it refreshing does. to see that it does any other outfits that you noticed that stood out that to you? that was the for real, that was the only one. Of course, I did love her little Thanksgiving outfit with the stripe. Uh, yeah, I uh, saw that. Yeah, yeah. Dress, and yeah. she had the uh, jacket, the top. It really was like a shirt layered over it with yeah. sneakers. I loved it. I thought that was so dope. So she, tonight, she brought it on with the style. She was just on point. Okay. Because tonight, if you notice, it was focused a lot on her. Even though I did like Cadola, I loved her outfit she had on and her friends giving. The uh, it had was like biker shorts with the top uh -huh. a tunic that had splits on the side in black and trimmed in white. Uh -huh. Did you notice it? Did you notice it, Tab? I did. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That was really cute, really dope. Uh -huh. See, that's why I would love to live in uh, L.A. because you could just wear stuff all year round. <laughs> all you know, all year round. Yes. Right. You could just right. go with whatever you want to go with. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but. Uh, Issa tonight, hands down, the fashion. She won okay. it. She got it. She did it. Got it was it. done. I got to find out so who I, made that jacket. Well, let us know. Let us know next time. I'm sure it's a black designer. I got to find out. So All I will right. have that for you guys on the next episode, okay? All right. Sounds good. And Tab, I was going to mention to you that I noticed you got some girlfriends in this last episode. I'm noticing them. <laughs> I'm noticing that the I'm noticing that the fellas is kind of wearing their hair kind of curly, like Lawrence is yeah. wearing his hair a new way. His homeboy, what the dude yeah. that you like, the real estate dude, uh, yeah. they kind of wearing their hair. Going. Yeah, they, they you got some curl friends in this in these, in these episodes. People are embracing it more and more, more and more people. Are, more brands. Just brands are being kind of brands are are tapping in areas whether it's seeing different brands at music fest festivals stuff like that like they're mm -hmm. outdoors they're not just staying in their lane of just hair care they're actually like right yeah. exactly yeah yeah, it's yeah. More aware, you know, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I'm, yeah i'm gonna find out who, who brought up somebody last week who made a cameo today oh, oh. 
Jimmy on the episode, Robin Thede. What? You know, Robin Thede was the drunk um, person at Thanksgiving, at Friendsgiving, at Condola's house. Yes, 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 she was. Oh, oh my God. Okay, right. okay, okay. You're yep. right. Mm-hmm. Yep. It kind of threw me off. It threw me off. Her up from the, the Black Girl Sketch Show. Yeah, yes. okay, okay. She's okay, a great okay. writer, too, now. She is a great, she's good. She's really good. Yeah. Very talented. Right. She's hilarious. Yes. Okay. Yes. And okay. now. Her background story, just how she got started and everything is just a really great story. Mm -hmm. I got to check that out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Yeah. She was a friend who told Lawrence that uh, Cadola was uh, just in it for fun. Right. Right. I thought that was funny because I'm like, we just brought her up to Del Wayne. Yeah. She has a cameo on the show. She heard them feelings. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Now, lady, so... Oh, you first, Tab. I was getting ready to ask a question, but you first. No, go ahead, because I was going to say so, for the next episode. Yeah, well, I was going to... Somebody had hit me up and said, um, and I don't know what they saw that maybe I missed, but they said that uh, uh, we're going to find out what happened to old boy from last season that ghosted on Issa. Oh, did for we, real? Did I miss that? I somebody mean, hit I me up see- because we could, we got a lot of fans on Instagram. They like they're they happy we're back, and they was like, "Yeah, we're gonna find out what happened." I was like, "What did I miss? Something? Is he coming yeah. back?" I don't know because I, I didn't see that. Okay, what is his name? Um, what is his what name? Was that uh, crazy boy name. <laughs> <laughs> the crazy boy. Yeah, he was crazy as hell. What was his name? Um, because there was no closure there. We need to right, find out what wasn't. happened with him. He's the one that yeah. kept disappearing. Come and then disappear, right? He went skinny so, dipping at his childhood home. Right. Yeah. No, that's him. What's his what? name? What was his name? No. Remember, what? he tried to talk to her and Molly sent him away. Yep. Exactly. He went to the old apartment and Molly caught him at the door and she was like, What you doing here? And he was like, He came to talk to Issa. Nope. He was basically like, No, not happening. So Get so Issa don't that Issa didn't know that he came over? Yeah, she told her, remember? <laughs> Because when she walked in, Issa was packing. Either she was packing up or she was unpacking. But I remember, like, she was trying to do something with the apartment. And that's Mom- right. That's right. At the door. Mm-hmm. So, somebody sent me a message saying that he was dealing with some mental issues, and they're going to they're going to start tapping into like mental illness in this season. I don't know what this person. Is. I got to figure okay, out. Well, what this if message. he got some right. mental illnesses, I want him to leave Issa alone because she don't need that. That's a whole nother thing <laughs> to deal with. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I would like to see that. I would like, I, yeah. you know what? If they showed the little the clip for the next episode, I was mm-hmm. still fire. So I totally. I mean, it. that's fine to show it because I mean, we all have, but I'm just saying I don't want her in a relationship with that because it will yeah. send her back. Yeah, I mean, she she already got she already relationship <laughs> with Molly who got mental illness. So <laughs> <laughs> Molly got some issues. Molly, right? wants, to, she sure does Molly does wants to be put <laughs> first. And, and Molly, all, and, and every time they get into it, Molly always hit below the belt. She she all told Issa, you, you were screwing for groceries? I was like, right. yo. Like, I'd be like, like she you, always, she does hit below the belt. Like, like come I, on, like, you, you why like, would you talk you to your friend? girl like that? <laughs> Are you my friend? Oh, what? <laughs> I told y'all there was an article after episode one that was circling around that was basically like everybody has a Molly and everybody needs to get rid of their Molly. Molly is not her friend. Molly right. is okay when Issa is not doing well. I don't well. need that kind of friend. Mm-hmm. She hurt my well, feelings every day. Yeah, make a little smart ass <laughs> comment. Smart ass. <laughs> she got your back, but she being funny at but like it's just yeah, fine. Yeah. All because you got some issues with yourself. All That's because it. she got issues. That's it. You said it. She got issues with herself. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But so uh, Del Del Wayne. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Yes. Oh, I was just doing projections. What you got? Oh, so I was. Well, see, I wasn't even gonna do a projection. I was gone. I've been checking out Del Wayne's beard. Uh-huh. And he's looking really <laughs> handsome over there. Oh, so that thank beard, you. You got that beard. That beard is tight. It's, it's tight. Oh, thank I, you. Thank you. I appreciate good. that. Thank you. Uh-huh. Thank you. Good. I'm trying to keep it good. And now you're making okay. me blush on camera. Okay, that's all right. Hey, I had to, you know, sometimes, you know, men need to get compli- compli- uh, well, complimented you. too. Right. Well, so thank I, you so I'm much. loving that. You're welcome. Thank you. Right. Thank is it because we can't get to the barber or we, we want to grow it out? No, just, just trying something new. Just trying something oh. new. 
I right? like it. Guys are allowed to do that too. You know, we'll switch it up in a second. <laughs> oh well, you know I'll switch it up. I what, last week I had my wig on today. This week is braids. So right. all right. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, well, so Tab, let's start with your predictions. I want to hear your predictions for season, not just episode, just the next episode. The next yeah, the next episode. episode. Uh, My prediction for the next episode, I'm hopeful that because Issa is not fresh off this conversation with her brother, that mm -hmm. she sends a not nice message back to Lawrence. I hope her message to Lawrence is nice and airy and joking and all that good stuff. And I feel like it's going to get worse between her and Molly. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they were supposed to meet and talk, but they didn't. Right. Mm -hmm. They didn't. And, 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 and did y'all see what Issa posted? I mean, Molly posted on her Instagram page. Oh, uh, I she posted, see it. She posted on Instagram about two days ago. She said, even though we beefed it on TV, I still got your back. So she, uh, because she tired of people asking about the episode being long. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. so if, you go, if you go to Molly's Instagram page, she said, I know we beef in the whole episode, but I still got your back. So I think, right. like you said, you're right, Tab. It's going to get worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's going to get worse before it gets better. And I mean, we are coming for Issa's neck about these 30-minute episodes. I'm, I, 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 she's I, tired I, of hearing it. She's tired of hearing it. I know. I know. <laughs> but, uh, Issa, if you ever watch this podcast, it's only because we love you, and 30 minutes is just not right. enough. It's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we, By the time that twenty-eight minute mark hits, I'm just getting like I'm I'm right. Like to like I'm this last in. episode. By the time it's in, you like, and then it's okay. Yeah. I'm like okay. Yeah. But you know, yeah. I, it's it's not them. It's HBO. I mean, well, yeah, maybe, yeah. That's how they, they do black. Netflix. That's how they do black people. Let <laughs> <laughs> right. me go to Netflix. Go to Netflix. <laughs> Right. Go to Netflix. Because Westworld comes on right before them. Is Westworld an hour? Because yeah, Westworld is an hour. Westworld is an hour. Yes. Uh yeah. See, Dwayne yeah, right. is right. They need to go to uh, Netflix. Mm -hmm. It would be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I agree. All right. So, what's y'all thoughts? What you think for the next episode? Mm, I think, like you said, the their beef will grow, grow, grow to something crazy. That's going to make the whole show like, oh, my God. But what I'm hoping is they won't leave us hanging. I got, <laughs> Which feeling, they will. <laughs> yep, I got a feeling they're going to leave and us listen, hanging. It's, it's fine if they do, but you better come with a season five. They be oh, on the last episode of season, season four, four. And then it better happen that way. But well, I do feel it's going to get worse to the point it's going to be ugly. And I hate that. but. That's a part of life, so you know. Mm -hmm. So, but that's that's my main prediction. Um, I, I I really I don't know how long this thing with Lawrence and Issa are gonna, is gonna play out and go yeah, back and forth. And so, you know, I just I'm just excited to see what's gonna happen this Sunday. Like, so I just wait and see. But that's my prediction. I know that her and Molly they, is their friend. They're growing apart right now. Mm -hmm. Did you catch the shade that Molly gave for the the clip of next week when she was looking out the window and saw Issa talking to Lawrence? Yeah, she's a she a shade. She's a she's a very she's almost like she's bitter. But I'm trying to figure out what is she bitter about? Because <laughs> oh, you know what she could be bitter about? She wanted the married man. What? She wanted the married man, mm. her married friend. She did want him. You, yeah, right. I think that might be it because it's something about right. it's something that she just don't want to be happy. She really don't want to be happy, y'all. I was like, oh my god. That's such yeah, a and they they didn't show they didn't show her boyfriend this whole episode. They right. didn't show him at all. Because oh, he gonna she gonna lose him too because she just stupid. So I mean, she, yeah. I'm sorry. I I mean she can she she's a smart she, lady. She can dress, and when I say smart, smart in her books. And she dressed very nice, but she's a silly woman. And yeah. she she didn't invite him to the Thanksgiving dishes. No, she, she didn't did. invite him. Because that would be the right yeah. thing to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> because Issa kind of threw a shot at her and made her feel like it was too soon. But then her mom kind of made her feel like, no, if a guy wants you, right. this, this that's is not how I feel. I'm old school. Yeah. If a guy wants you, stop playing games and do what you're right. gonna yeah. do. You know, because either right. it is or it isn't, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, okay, what's your prediction? 
All right, so um, I think that the see, next episode, episode four, is going to pretty much make the trajectory. It's going to it's going to let us know what's going to happen with Condola and, and uh, Lawrence. I think this very next episode, we're going to know what their relationship is. <laughs> because there's no way that they can go from that scene they had in the kitchen to go back to either being normal or go back to taking a relationship to the next level. There's no great period. Either it's over or they're going to the next level. And um, I think this my prediction that this next episode it's going to set the tone to what their relationship is going to be the rest mm -hmm. of the season. That's okay. what I think. So okay. I'm, I'm going to be glued to the TV to see what happened with these two. Yeah. And, uh, so that's, so that's, that's my prediction. I, I okay. think it's time because it's only 30 minutes and we got a lot to unpack. So it's yeah. <laughs> and, and another, another thing, another thing they did, they didn't show anything about the block party. Uh, this no, they didn't. Sunday. They didn't. So I'm, I'm looking to see where she's at with this block party. She talking about getting schoolboy Q to perform at the block party so uh -huh. we may see we may see her doing some shaking and moving throughout LA trying mm -hmm. to get some more people and get some more spouses to the block party so that's my that's my prediction for the next is episode. Condola yes. done helping her with the block party no yes. they're still working together mm -hmm. they're still working together that's gonna be mm -hmm. a part of it too because yeah now, Lisa doesn't know that Condola and Lawrence have had an argument about her but no she don't mm -hmm. yes so it's gonna Condola's gonna yes good point Condola's good point a little bit yeah. Good point, Tab. Good right. point. Yeah. <laughs> going to side eye Issa. Issa gonna be like, "Well, I'm just being me. Like I can't." Right. But you know, they did Issa show a clip where uh, Issa make a statement like, uh, "Did you steal boyfriends? Like you stole mine, or do you some?" Remember, they showed that yeah. clip. They haven't gotten to that yet. I thought. I thought they. I, th I thought they showed that in uh, episode one. She said, "You dated. You dated my ass. So I, where, where your ex boyfriend at?" She yeah. said that already. Oh, okay. She already said. Yeah. Okay, I missed that. She one. said it okay. already. Okay. She said. Right. She said it already. Something like, "Let me. Let me pull up. A, where your ex is at? Let me pull up." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she, okay. She so said it already. It. Okay. Because yeah. I've been waiting for that. And I, I missed <laughs> that. Okay. So I need to go back and relook at that. Yeah. So I, I think that's, that. that's an added kind of part into it is that the next time yeah. people need to see each other, it's going to be on Condola's mind that mm -hmm. oh, you still got my man's heart a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have some some conversations some conflict around you so mm -hmm. he's is gonna be nothing but it's gonna be the she, same but but because is the one that always bring it up lawrence mm -hmm. doesn't so i'm just saying so she you know to me check yourself because it's, it's how I'm, you're feeling about it Mm -hmm. um, and and I'm, I know we got to go, but I just want to say last thing. Condola should not blame Lawrence because it's not his fault that oh her no. and Issa are friends. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't even know y'all knew each other. Like, come on, that's my past. I'm not calling her. The only reason why she's in our life right now is because you are that's associated you. with her. Absolutely. Right. That's so a good point. How, how are you going to blame me for your association with Issa? Mm -hmm. because, she likes, because she likes uh, Issa more. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. likes her more. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She don't I, I don't, I don't like know. I don't know she because she her. she kind of she feels a certain kind of way when she saw them laughing at that coffee shop. She like that. <laughs> oh, but, she like that. Hold on, hold on. So. What does that remind you of? What did I say last episode? Sometimes we don't want them until we realize somebody else do. It's right. Uh, it's a problem. <laughs> and us as women, we really need to get that together. But that uh, might be what happens. And I said it earlier, I want her to let him go because she don't really want him on the level that he wants to be wanted. Right, she right. she realized that somebody else got his eye or he got somebody's heart or whatever, then she's going to tap in. And right. maybe I want to be more serious with you. And it's going to be right. But, 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 Q, but Q and Tab, can you imagine Cadola giving up on Lawrence and then he go back to Issa, how she would feel about that? She don't want that either. So well, I think, I think she ain't to fight. me right now. She's not that deep in, so I don't know. I, her, she ain't I that deep know. in. They ain't been knowing each other that long because so I because would, when she because yeah, you she remember did. you remember the you remember the last episode when she got upset with him. She came. She said, "I'm, I'm going home." She left, and then she uh -huh. came back and they and they kind of apologized. She likes mm -hmm. him, but um, yeah. I, I just don't see. They like each other. I, I do yeah, think they, they like. I'm, each other. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I feel yeah, like I they, they like, like each other. but. Like and love is two different things. So I'm just yeah. telling you, you can yeah. you can like a lot of people. <laughs> 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 I'm 
I'm just saying. Right. I'm just saying. Right. And then, you know, the dating yeah. game is so different now. So it I'm is. just saying, it like, is. people don't be as committed as you think, you know, because they sleep. You would think people sleeping together and stuff and spending, they would be. Well, ain't, no, ain't nobody but, sleeping together with this Rona going on. Mm-hmm. Ain't well, nobody sleeping with nobody. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to be no unexpected pregnancies. It ain't, I'm pretty sure STDs don't went down. Everything. Oh, oh, they don't went down. Crime, everything. <laughs> right. It's Corona got people. <laughs> it's if you crazy. out here sleeping with people now, you crazy. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you are right. crazy. You ain't never lied. <laughs> you ain't never lied. Don't bring that home. But I know, I know, Tab, I know we on a certain amount of time. I know, we, I don't know, we like 45 minutes in. So um, I know Tad was like, you know, we got to get this thing wrapped up. But okay. uh, what y'all got going on? Who, what you got going on this week coming up? Anybody? In the house. <laughs> <It all. laughs> I know, y'all. As soon as, as soon as the Rona lifts up, our, our what we got coming up will get so much more exciting for us. Right. I know. Well, I, I, I wanna, so, in the house. Look, I'll be creating content tomorrow. So mm-hmm. new I, stuff I, coming. So other good. than that, in the house. You know, you Good. guys can always visit my shop, otbfashions.com. There we go. <laughs> yep, visit my blog, out of the box fashion.com. Out of the box fashion.com. Yes, go to my Facebook, out of the box OTB fashions, and you know, you can like, click, share, do all of that. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> click, share, like, click, share. <laughs> like, click, share. I'm on TikTok. I, I'm on TikTok now, too. you on TikTok? Yes. On oh, TikTok. my God. Tick, tick, I, 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 TikTok ain't ready for you. I know I'm on TikTok, but you know what? I got like over eight thousand and some views on a video I did of Ricky, and I was just having fun. So it's right. like, you know, what I'm saying, not even being serious. I'm like, so what? But Maybe yeah, that so. is why I'll join TikTok because every other thing I'm on is about business. So it's just like I, I need a space where I can go to just. This- this, this 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 is my space. I felt so good after our last podcast. I this felt good. It yeah, really I did. Y'all know that yeah. this is what I love. I love to talk. Yeah. I love to talk to y'all. I love to talk about insecure. So yeah, this this is yeah. Crazy. Yeah, this, it'd be this cool is if we could podcast. do a TikTok all together. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> I, I I just want to let the, everybody know the readers know oh, yeah, the Phoenix yeah, Entrepreneur yeah. Magazines is available. Yes, I'm so happy. We got both of them. We got the Las oh. Vegas Entrepreneur Magazine oh, available. You. And we got it. the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the Phoenix Entrepreneur Magazine. I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm really happy. This, this is the first time I have two African-American men on both of my covers on the same All month. Right. Um, mm-hmm. I'm really I'm proud of that. About. I want to change the narrative because people think they're brothers, African-American men. They have a, a certain um, ideal of what we are and who we are. So right. I want to help. I want to do my small part and change the narrative and say we are strong black men, exactly. entrepreneurs. And go cop the magazines, y'all. Thank you exactly. so much. Go to Instagram, type in Phoenix Entrepreneur Magazine, or go to Instagram, type in Las Vegas Entrepreneur Magazine. Get your copy today. Support black businesses. Thank you, guys. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, we got to stop yes. that one. That is thank so you so cool. much. Thank you. Time, you got out to Vegas and just have been killing it. Every yeah, thank day. you. Yeah. Love watching mm-hmm. all that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tab. Thank you, Q. And what, now, what, what about you, Tab? We're going to get in 10 minutes with Tab tomorrow on Tuesday. Yes, what? yes, 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 yes. So, like I, you guys know, of course, you know, our listeners don't know. So, offline, we've got a lot of just things going on around me, renovations with the house. So, now that things are calming down and I kind of got some of my office space back, I can get back to creating. I have a couple of videos to get out to you guys. As you know, I'm in the house, so I don't have anything else to do, but... Mm-hmm. Um, couple of brand videos I have to get out, and then yes, I am bringing 10 minutes with tabs back this week. Yay. All right, all right, this week. Oh my god, make sure to tag like me. Tab. You and I, we talked about it last Thank week, you. and I think the universe must have been listening to you because then I think the next day I got two messages in my inbox about panel being on two different panels. So I'm like, it's time. It's yeah. time. Oh my God! <laughs> you, I mean, you got that. you got so much to discuss in ten minutes. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I you do. got a lot of yeah. catching up to do. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do. You know, before I used to either maybe random conversations or I would pick like a topic for the month. So it's right. get it into May. So I'm gonna go ahead and you know select my topic. So y'all stay tuned for that, and then we'll have a couple of ten minutes with tabs around that. All okay. right. Any any contest or anything going on this coming up soon? 
I know you um, like to do a lot of a, Yeah, I will have a giveaway coming up. We were waiting for one of my um, kind of videos, one of my, my things I was doing with the Puff Cuff to get released. And mm -hmm. it was I was recently provided the videos to start posting. So now that I can get that out there, I can go ahead and do the giveaway coming up soon. So Okay, cool. All right. All right. Puff Cuff. Right, right, right. Last question. What's up with Wig Out Family? We're going to have any new content from the Wig Out Family? <laughs> yeah, that's on my husband to get that content okay. out there because your girl can only do but so much. Um, but no, we definitely, we have content for days, you guys. I I don't, I, I don't know if Q ever been to your YouTube channel. Q, have you ever been to the Wig yeah, Out Family YouTube looked, channel? I looked at it and I need to go and look do more. Oh I'm my god! YouTube, her, but I don't her family, do a lot of stuff with it, but she has the cutest family. I'm telling you, it's okay, adorable. I have to go check it out. To watch the, I have to go I'm talking about I'll, the kids. You have all the link, curly kids. You have your everything. link on your Instagram tab. Um, no, we have an Instagram. We have Wigged Out. Instagram. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. all right. I mean, y'all, we have content for days, and I mean, it's we say all the time when we used to actually do this. If we could just set up a camera and mm -hmm. just roll some of the stuff, it really like we we've always said from the very beginning of Blackish, somebody is literally tapping into our everyday. Uh -huh. Okay, dollars, and now that we're watching Black AF, and we're seeing more of the reality, yeah. of really is with his family. Mm -hmm. right. I'm like. Literally, yes. Kenya is stealing our life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, DJ DJ is doing a great job with the editing and the music and everything. Thank so. you, thank you, thank yeah. you. I'll let him. I'll let him know as I continue. Yeah, I, gotta check, I have to check yeah. that out. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys will be getting more, especially with the summer coming up. We got stuff with Aiden and his violin. Aiden's going to high school, so we've got mm -hmm. that that we're recording. Okay. okay. So you know we all we um every time a holiday come up we like to bring the holidays into our podcast and I know we may not be able to do it this year with Corona but um last year we was talking about maybe bringing our mothers in on the podcast. Oh okay. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. you know you know Mother's Day is getting ready to come up yeah, so that would have been really cool. Um um you know maybe one day we could have our kids join the podcast. Yeah. I would love to meet you. Got a, you you have a daughter right Q? The I have like, I have three daughters. And what's their ages? Oh God, I have a thirty-two. <laughs> I have a thirty-two-year-old. Uh -oh. uh -huh. I have a twenty-seven-year-old. A oh, twenty-nine-year-old. What? And yeah, and my son is—he's just twenty-one. So okay, okay, wow. So I have four kids all together. Wow, right. mm -hmm. that that is something. I know they love what you're doing. I know they. Yes, they, they do. Like, they do. They they do. They support me a lot. They support me, I and they I have like. My, and I have like four grandkids. Get out of oh, here! Wow. <laughs> you, you look, you look good. You look good. Thank you, you, you don't, you, you don't look like you old enough to have no thirty-year-old child. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I would have never. I, I, I thought, I thought your daughter was like twenty-one. I didn't know. You oh, mm -mm. Wow. Mm -mm. I started when I was twelve. <laughs> 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 well, you well, you but keep yeah. doing your thing. You keep doing I am, your thing. I am. Both of y'all. Hey, I'm Thank happy. You. And, 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 I'm, and I'm ready for you to get that shop out here in LA. I can see you with a with a clothing I'm store. I'm telling out here. you. I'm telling you. I told my husband. I was like, I I need to move to LA. Mm -hmm. He was like, the cost of living is off the chain. It is. Yes. <laughs> it is. Oh, yes. it is. But I would swing by and get my cappuccino from Issa's Coffee Shop, and then I would come. To yeah. I like uh, Vegas too. I went to Vegas once. What the Vegas once? You like? Yes, it and I had a ball. Oh God, I had a good time. Yeah. Oh my God, I was oh, drunk yeah. the whole time I was there. <laughs> like every that's day. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how, yeah, that's how yeah. you're supposed to do Vegas. I'm for Everybody, real, I'm drunk every day because like they let well, you walk around with your alcohol. Yeah. Right. Like literally, you could just walk around all day and uh, refill, refill. I mean, I had a good uh, time. Uh, 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 wow. Well, right now, y'all can go get your eyebrows and nails done. Y'all going to do that? Uh, all hell to the no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I'm trying to nope. build. I want to make it to my grandkids' graduation, high school graduation. Mm -hmm. If it's God's will, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just, I'll keep me and so my no manicures, no pedicures? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that corona, the corona is real. So, no, baby. Don't you, you ain't going to trap me. You ain't gonna trap me. Uh-uh. I know better. 
<laughs> how y'all think? How y'all think Keisha? Keisha, um, 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 what's her name? Keisha uh, Bottom. Keisha Bottom. Uh, uh-huh. How y'all think she doing? As I think a mayor? she's doing a great job. I do too. She's being smart. Yeah, she's yeah. Being, and she's being and technically, she's the governor should be Stacey Abrams, but you know, of course, he yeah, Kim exactly. cheated. He cheated. Yeah. Regardless, he I don't care what anybody say. He cheated. So he cheat. you know, the people got yeah. what they got. You know. Yeah. So it shows well, the importance of how we need to vote, and we need to well, pay attention. Well, she's on Joe Biden's short list for VP, so I'm hoping he really? picks her. Yes. Oh, wow, I he, didn't he, know that. He, he said yeah. he's going to pick a woman, and he needs to pick a black woman because black women are the most devoted right. um, fan base for the Democratic Party. So, oh, yes. um, mm-hmm. either, either Cam- Camilla Harris or um, Elizabeth Warren, or even yeah. um, your girl in Georgia. But, you know, Elizabeth Warren, I don't know if they're going to have, you know, even though she's a woman, I don't know if, if two white people would be good for the ticket, seeing that black women uh-huh. out there most mm-hmm. devoted. Um, yeah. yeah, we'll see. But I do agree it needs to be a woman. Yeah. It would be nice to see that, finally. Stacey Abrams, she would, she would definitely fire up yeah. the campaign. Oh, she, she would, would because she, she, she technically won Georgia. She like, did win yeah, a so, red state, a red state, yeah. right? A red state, like for real. So she would be a great we'll pick. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll we see. will see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, all right, guys. <laughs> all right, ladies. All right, guys. Well, I want to thank everyone for tuning in again. Yes. For episode three of I'm So Insecure podcast and we will see everybody next week. Next right. week. Okay. Thanks. All right. And y'all All be right. looking out for the links because we will be sharing them on our social media, right guys? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. And if they absolutely. go to YouTube, what's the link for YouTube? So it's under my Coco Brown Curls XO page. Um yes. we'll get some more places where we can get them links out there. Okay. All right. Sounds Great. good. All right. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Talk to everybody. Y'all have a- Okay, yeah, thank you. Week. okay, you do the same. Bye. Be, be Bye. safe, everybody. Be safe. I know that's right. Peace and light. Always. Bye. Bye.